we now go to agenda number one of our uh, hearing for today. And this has something to do with the maritime collision involving FB Diri near the Bajo de Masin Lock area. We have several uh, resource persons present here from last October 2. An incident occurred resulting in the death of three fishermen, Filipino fishermen, in the area. So, nandito po lahat yung mga pwedeng magsalita ukol dito. The purpose of this hearing is to craft appropriate remedial legislation as well as to establish the criminal jurisdiction of, if any, the nationality of the ships involved, the penal jurisdictions, administrative jurisdictions, and to give justice to the three uh, victims as well as the 11 surviving uh, crew members present here in this hearing today. The victims, yung mga biktima naman po, yung uh, nandito po yung mga byuda, nandito po yung mga survivor, kung ano po yung nangyari sa incident. And then we ask uh, Marina, then our resource persons present here from uh, Marshall Islands. Uh, patungkol po dito sa incident na nangyari, na nagresulta ng pagkamatay ng tatlo nating kababayan noong October, October 2, 2012. Tapos na po ba yung... Who will speak in the Philippine Coast Guard? Uh, kayo pong isa-isa at kayong tatlo. Um, uh, thank there, you very much, Mr. Chair. But I, ano, sir, um, I intend to... I am, I am heading the, this team. Yes. But uh, it, the report will be articulated by the commander of the Maritime Safety Services Command. So, two speakers on the part of the Coast Guard are as appropriate. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So, can you, can you, uh, hindi ko mabasa yung mga pangalan, nagtaklo ba na kayo ng mga pangalan? Ayan. Uh, lahat naman kayo magiging uh, commandant uh, next week. So, can we ask uh, who will speak? Uh, Vice Admiral Ponsalan, on behalf of the Coast Guard. A, a very quick um Go ahead. Is, is this going to be a presentation, a visual presentation? Or? It will lead to that, Mr. Okay. Chair. Thank you. You have the floor. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Admiral. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, magandang umaga. Una po muna, sir, paabot lang namin. On behalf of our commandant and the organization Philippine Coast Guard, eh, yung aming simpatiya, sa condolences po sa inyo. Sa, sa nangyari nga po, at uh, bunsod ng insidente na nangyari, mahigit isang daan at siyam na po, na milya mula sa Agno Pangasinan. Um, having said that, Mr. Chair, um, what we what we intend to present now would be to share uh, the collection of um, facts, information uh, that uh, will come in handy for the future pursuits as regards this particular incident. Kaya nagbuo po na isang fact-finding team Dahil we find it vital na kailangan po muna natin may establish ang ilang bagay kasama na rin yung which vessel was involved. In as much as we have clear evidence that indeed an incident occurred. May I request, sir, the floor to be given to Coast Guard Vice Admiral Joseph Koyme. He is the commander of Maritime Safety, Safety Services Command na siyang... Na siyang uh, sa larangan ng kanyang uh, trabaho ay eh, nagkolekta po at namuno sa isang komite o grupo para malaman po ito with the um, permission of the Honorable Chair. Go ahead, go ahead. Thank uh, you, Admiral uh, Koyme. Koy at this moment, a real time, malalaman po natin yung present location yung Mr. Chair. Before you proceed, matanong ko lang si yung representative ng Foreign Affairs. Under this situation na maraming pupuntahan, under yung UNCLOS, ano yung uh, port state na dapat na unang mag-investiga rito? Is it Singapore? Is it uh, Myanmar? O yung mga pupunta kahit sino? Um, uh, uh, Ms. Uh, Deputy Assistant Secretary Man Maningat. Maningat. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, my understanding, sir, is that it would be Singapore. They're the immediate destination. So it has to be the immediate port. Hindi po pwede yung Myanmar, hindi po pwede yung sunod. Hindi po. Feeding po later on after the investigation establishes the need for further. So si Myanmar hindi na pwede mag-investiga? Kung hingin po ng PCG, pwede rin po. So pwede pang sulatan ni PCG si Myanmar. Kung hindi pa nasagot yung Singapore, si Myanmar pwede sulatan din. 
um, I defer to the DOT. Are they already asking also us to be? Ah, uh, then kaya tinatanong yes, ko don eh, kasi yes, kung hindi pa sumasagot si, so th th will will uh, will that prevent uh, PCG Coast Guard to write letters to the succeeding ports? No, sir. Pwede pa kayo sa kulang. We can inform them, sir. Okay, go ahead, yes. go ahead with your presentation. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'd like just to, go, to be clarified, sir. There are two important things. Yung port state control inspection, this is a safety inspection conducted normally by PSC inspectors. Of course, this is addressing yung mga substandard ships. And right now, if there is really a report of a collision incident, we need to say the safety aspect is being compromised. The port state control inspectors to respective area whenever they are being informed, can exercise their overriding authority because safety is being compromised already. Have you written Myanmar? Not yet so far, sir, because we rely on the first port after the incident, which is Singapore. So, siguro yung Myanmar, pwede nyo rin sulatan kasi wala namang masama. Sulatan we'll nyo. do that, sir. Lahat ng pupuntahan, sulatan nyo na. Baka may sumagot doon na isa. Yes, sir. To whom it may concern na. Di ba? We, Go ahead. Uh, we subscribe to your wisdom, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Next slide, please. So as a way forward, sir, completion of the fact-finding investigation report, uh, we may complete this uh, investigation report one week after the arrival of the ill-fated FB Dirin in Subic, because uh, this is piece of evidence very important for us, sir, because we will conduct inspection, and at the same time examine those uh, scalp marks uh, found uh, on the hull of a uh, FBDRIN and be subjected to forensic examination. And then secondly, uh, upon, upon completion, we intend to submit the fact-finding investigation report to the D Department of Foreign Affairs for appropriate diplomatic actions. That's all, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Isa na lang follow-up question ko, Admiral. Yung first slide nyo, may point of reference kayo. Can we have the first slide? Yung unang-una. First slide, first slide, first slide. Next slide, yeah. Uh, next slide. Yung na, lumabas yung Agno, Pangasinan. Hindi, ayan, to. So, uh, matanong ko lang, bakit ang nagiging point of reference natin ay, napili ninyo, ay 100 nautical miles west of Agno, Pangasinan. Hindi natin ginamit yung uh, 195 nautical miles from Subic Fishport. Uh, may involve siguro yung Sambales Police na doon. Police, hindi na yung Pangasinan. Bakit hindi nyo ginamit yung 80 nautical miles from Scarborough or Baho de Masinloc? So, lahat yung pwedeng gamitin naman, di ba? Para maliwanag. Kasi, kasi ngayon, ang, ang point of reference na natin, uh, Agno. O pwede rin naman ng Subic. Kasi tigaron sila for a... Uh, Filing of criminal cases later on. So, pwede rin baho di masinlok. Mas malapit. No? 90. Yun lang matanong ka. Paano napili itong uh, Agno Pangasinan? Yes, sir. Because this is the first coastline they arrive after 24 hours of long voyage. At doon sila nakapag-report sa nearest Coast Guard Station. Napunta sa uh, Pangasinan Police? Oo, oh, sir. Okay. Eh, kin kinlarify ko lang yan para... Para maliwanag sa mga nakikinig sa atin. Kasi narinig dati yung Subic, kung saan sila nakatira. Narinig din yung Baho di Masinlok, kung saan sila dati na nangingista din, doon sa Scarborough Shoal. And secondly, Mr. Chair, just to establish that it is within our exclusive economic zone, which is 190 nautical miles west of Ag Agnong Pangasinan. I agree, but yung sa Subic ay 195. Five na lang ang diferensya nun. Uh, anything more to add? No more, Mr. Chair. Unless may tanong si Senator Padilla sa Coast Guard. Nasagot na. Hindi pa, di pa kayo tinatanong. Nasagot na.